that's good. Oh, what do you have? Hipster IPA, you? The Abbey Triple. I think the Session Ale is my favorite. I am loving this Session. It's amazing, everything they can do with basically four ingredients. They should teach a class on it. They do! CSU teaches an upper level class in brewing, and students can now major in fermentation science and technology. It makes sense. I mean, when you think that 70% of the craft beer made in Colorado is brewed right here in Fort Collins. Is that true? Yeah, it's huge. It generates over $300 million in local revenue and employs 2,500 people around here. They're so mindful of the environment, protecting the river, powering their plants with wind and solar. That's pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. I mean, I get the great beer, the bike culture, but all that other stuff. You guys must work for one of them. <laughs> no, we're just visiting. We're from Wisconsin. Yeah. Where are you guys from? We, we live, live here. here. Lately, Fort Collins breweries have been getting a lot of national attention. And every year, more people come here specifically to tour the breweries. But a 2013 survey conducted by University Connections indicates that many Fort Collins residents simply aren't aware of the size and scope of our local brewing industry and all it does for the community. By naming, defining, and promoting a Fort Collins Brewery District that, for all intents and purposes, already exists, we have the opportunity to help shape the narrative around the breweries and our local craft brewing industry. The breweries are central to the character of Fort Collins. Let's embrace that. Let's show visitors and residents alike how this thriving industry benefits our community, enhances our downtown, and helps define who we are. We could start with something like this. Fort Collins is home to more than 10 breweries, most of which sit within a two mile radius of downtown. Think about it. In the city of 150,000, we have Anheuser-Busch, one of the largest commercial breweries in the country. New Belgium, the third largest craft brewer in the U.S. Odell Brewing, one of the oldest and largest craft brewers in the state, and several of the most innovative and successful microbreweries in the country. In fact, more than 70% of Colorado's craft beer is brewed right here. It's actually kind of ironic. If you consider that Fort Collins was a dry town from 1896 until 1969, but in the late 70s and early 80s, as craft brewing began to generate interest in other parts of the country, a few local brewers were experimenting with recipes that would have a profound effect on the industry. And the first few years, probably the most difficult thing was overcoming uh, lack of education by the beer consumer. Uh, most everybody just looked at beer as being light American lager and that was all there was. And, and when we came in with a a different tasting beer, different looking beer, um, different names of beer. Uh, it took a while for people to realize what, what we were doing and what the difference was. It seemed to be that after we got to about eight accounts, maybe ten, I actually started getting phone calls from accounts saying, my competitor down the street has your beer and uh, I need it. <laughs> you know, so that was, uh, that was kind of the turning point. So New Belgium was really Jeff's dream. And um, our creation story in terms of why Belgian beers is about traveling in Belgium and um, really falling in love with those beers and um, deciding that there was no one in the U.S. who was making Belgian styles and that we would be the first people. These entrepreneurs and others like them not only launched an industry, they started a local cultural movement. People who live here will tell you that Fort Collins is unique, friendly, generous, collaborative, innovative, green, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> the same can be said about our breweries. Each has a personality all its own. They've grown their craft from European roots and created something distinctive, something quintessentially American. They've also made significant economic, educational, and environmental contributions to the city. The craft brewing industry has been interesting to watch over the past few years. You see basically from 2008 to now, we've grown from four breweries in Larimer County to over a dozen. These companies are called primary employers. They, they obviously make a product that's consumed locally, but most of this product is sold outside the market. 
and, and then profits are brought back in. When that happens, it's an interesting dynamic economically because every one of those brewery jobs, those, those dollars go back to the community and they end up creating about one and a half jobs per brewery job. So it's very significant to our local economy. Through manufacturing, wholesale distribution, and direct sales, the breweries also touch an incredible array of local businesses, turning to them for supplies, products, and services. Well, the, the breweries are committed to the sourcing locally in such a way that we wouldn't be here if that wasn't their focus. They have always put a premium on local, as have we. So far, it's been just a real symbiotic relationship that has been kind of a boom to our, our business for sure. Uh, as Fort Collins becomes more of a destination and draws in more uh, out of town people, it just, it expands economically throughout the whole community. What the breweries do is they create Fort Collins as a destination. If I am a beer aficionado in Chicago, I can look at Fort Collins and say, I'm gonna make that a destination. If they had one brewery, uh, that traveler probably wouldn't do that. But with that kind of variety and that kind of critical mass of breweries, uh, it really creates itself as a destination. As the breweries help fuel the city's economic engine, they also work in tandem with the university, partnering with CSU to develop new courses and programs related to the industry. There, there's a very natural alignment between Colorado State and the, and the local craft industry. If you think about it, it's about science, science of fermentation. That's a really important part of it. If you think about it, it's about business, the business of logistics and things that we really do well as well. And the natural environment, using water, turning it into a, an important product without you know, environmental degradation. That's a terrific set of things to worry about, and our local craft brewers really worry about that, and we're very well positioned to make sure that they can do that effectively. There is a synergy between this creativity, this business sense, and this passion for sustainability. This relationship with the craft brewing industry is a perfect example of where we both come together and make something really terrific happen. Sustainability, conservation. One of the most remarkable things about our brewers is their commitment to the environment. As entrepreneurs, parents, and citizens, it's what they believe, and it's how they live. Economic fortitude, educational partnership, and environmental stewardship all spring from breweries large and small, working together to improve their community. On many levels, it's amazing how much collaboration there is. And so the new breweries that are opening up can come to existing breweries for technical advice. We're constantly exchanging grain and hops with other breweries when someone runs short and needs something for short term. It's remarkable how well the breweries work together and by working together they create a stronger industry and the city certainly benefits from that. Before we ever started brewing beer, we sat down and we talked about what did we want this little baby company to be? And we picked four things. Those were to produce world-class beer, to promote beer culture and the responsible enjoyment of beer, to be environmental stewards, and to have fun. It's the beer business, you know. If you can't goof around, then I'd suggest you have some challenges, so. Our breweries contribute so much more to our community than just great beer. So whether you're visiting or you live here, take some time and get to know the Fort Collins Brewery District. You can learn more about walking, bike, and bus tours on our website. The breweries offer countless benefits to our community, but more than that, they are our community. The people who help make Fort Collins the unique and remarkable city that it is. If we recognize, define, brand, and promote a Fort Collins Brewery District, we showcase our breweries, shape the story around them, and add vibrancy to this place. So let's develop a plan and invite the right people to the conversation because a Fort Collins Brewery District can be a good thing for all of us.